Um, this is a circles questions from the GCSE 2022 maths uh, higher paper, which took place yesterday. Um, and we've got three identical circles, uh, two of which are placed next to each other, just touching. And then the third one is kind of intersecting both of them and in the centers of the other two circles. So if we were to say that A is a circle of one middle of um, one circle and B is the middle of the other, uh, then this is the third one in the middle. Um, so A and B, are the circles A and B are just touching, and circle C is just a plump smack in the middle between two, where it touches the midpoints of the other two, um, and the midpoint itself lands on the centre of the of two of two circles. And we're asked to work out the kind of the shaded region in between. Um, a couple of things about this question: why why it makes it quite awkward is that it requires you to understand and use um, several concepts. Um, um, all in one in one little question. Um, so before we even try to figure out what this area of this shaded region um, is, is that we really have to try and draw in a few lines just to help find what on earth is actually going on. And the great thing about circles is that um, the midpoint from the middle of the circle to every single other point on the circle is always going to be the same distance. Um, and that's incredibly helpful. Because it means I can draw this line here, fully confident knowing that that's four centimeters. I can also draw another line from here, because it's four centimeters all the way around, no matter where I go. Um, I know that this is also going to be four centimeters. And likewise, from the middle point C, well, I can draw a point on this circle, knowing that it's four centimeters. And I can draw another one from here. Again, knowing that full well that this is going to be exactly one, one four centimeter line. Um, now I'm drawing one more extra line, um, which I may not be too certain about what the length of this one is, because there's no guarantees that there's four centimeters. But, 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 if I drew a line down from here to here, I can guarantee that that's going to bisect. It's going to bisect that four centimeters. And likewise, this line is going to bisect that four centimeters exactly in half. So if you remember drawing the compass, you bisect a line. Um, that means that this middle section, well, it guarantees that that's going to be four centimeters. Uh, so essentially, um, I've got this red triangle with these shaded bits kind of like there. And we're going to focus on that area. So I'm going to focus on that area. I'm just going to look at that particular area for now. So here we've got that triangle. We've got that area, that shaded region that we want to work out. Uh, and we've got that this is 4cm, 4cm, and 4cm, which means it's an equilateral triangle. So if we look at the actual, this white section here, this chord here, well, that must be the same as this chord because this line is four centimeters and it's the same circle. And if this is line four centimeters and that's also the same circle, these red shaded areas must all be equal. They've all got to be equal. Um, and that's quite handy to know. Because now I can say this. And the area of the shaded region Is going to be the area of the triangle minus two of the chords whatever it is and then add what well, one of the chords um, which means that there's going to be the area of the triangle, because the chords are all the same area, and it's going to be minus just the area of the chord, or area of one chord anyway. That'll be the area of the shaded region. And then I've got to take this and multiply it by two, because there's two of them. So that's really what we're aiming for. So we need to find out the area of the triangle and the area of the chord, and well, subtract the chord from the triangle and multiply by two. 
So now let's continue on working out the area of, let's say the triangle, because the triangle seems a bit easier. Oops. So we've got our triangle here. Well, we know that this is four, four, and four at the top. And well, I'm going to cut this in half just so that we can work out the area of it. And that means that we form two identical right angle triangles of two and two and diagonal length of four. Uh, we don't know what this perpendicular one is. Uh, so I'm just going to put A for now, um, which means that the area of this triangle would be, well, two times A is the area of the triangle. Um, so A would be, well, A squared would be four squared minus two squared because of Pythagoras, which means that A squared equals 16 minus four, which equals 12. So that means A is equal to square root of 12. And A can also be written as the square root of three times four. And that means it's a is also 2 root 3, which means the area of the triangle equals 2 times 2 root 3, which equals 4 root 3. So we've got the area of our triangle. Now we're going to work out the area of our chord. So we're just going to focus on one part of the circle first. Um, we're going to try and work out the area of the chord, which is this red area here, red shaded area. And how we're going to work out the area of the chord? Well, area of the chord, well, let me choose, um, which is my highlighter. The area of the chord is going to be the area of this sector it's going to be the area of the sector minus well the area of the triangle. Um, now, what's the area of the sector? Because I've got the area of the, of the triangle, uh, and that's um, that's four root three. So we know that section. But the area of the sector, we're not too sure. Well, luckily, we also know, because of the equilateral triangle, that this is 60 degrees, which means that the area of this entire sector is going to be one sixth of the area of the circle, uh, because it's only 60 degrees of it, which is one sixth. So the area of the circle equals pi r squared. And the radius is 4, which means the area of the circle is going to be 16 pi, which means the area of the sector is going to be 16 pi divided by six. And we're going to minus the area of the triangle, which is four root three, which means the area of the chord equals to 16 pi over six minus four root three. And 16 pi over root six can be simplified to eight pi over three minus four root three. So we're almost there now. We've got our area of the chord. So I'm going to move down. We've got our area of a triangle, which is this part, which I'm going to move down. And we're trying to figure it out. Now, 
Now, remember we said that the area of the shaded region Well, that equals to the area of a triangle minus the area of the chord. And we'll times it by two. Um, so that means the area of a triangle is four root three minus eight pi over three minus four root three. And when we open the brackets, what will we get? Four root three minus eight pi over three plus four root three, because negative times negative is a positive. And that gives us, well, eight root three minus eight pi over three. But we still got to multiply everything by two because this is just the top half of the shaded region. So we've got to multiply everything by two, which equals 16 root three minus 16 pi over three. And that's, uh, well, centimeters squared as well. Um, so that's the shaded region of both, of both the top and bottom.